Hello and welcome to this new tutorial video. This tutorial video I will be teaching you how you can create a readme for your GitHub profile. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to create something like this. You have a hidden message, a profile view count, and all these other informations about me, socials, tech stack, and GitHub stack graphs. Without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. First things first to get started. What we want to do is we want to go to github.com and log into our github profile. Once in our github profile, we'll go to our profile view here. And when you're in your profile view, we'll move on to creating a new repository. Create new. The repository we'll be creating will be a special repository. And a special repository is known when it's created as the same name as your github username. So we'll type in Shiro Roku. And as you can see here, this alert tells us that this is a special repository we can use to add a readme file to your uh, GitHub profile. We'll make sure it's public and we want to initialize a readme file by checking the add a readme file checkbox. Then we'll select create repository. After a repository is created, we'll be presented here with uh, a auto generated readme file saying hey, hi there. Now let's move to the next part, which will be to use a website which will help us to auto-generate our readme file following a few steps and that will make it easier for us. Let's proceed to open a new tab on our web browser and in here in our search address we will type gprm.itsvg.in and press enter. We will present with this gprm which is a best profile generator this is what i use to generate my github profile readme and when we are here we'll type in our github username mine is shiruduku and after we have done this select this arrow then here to ask us to add small introduction i can first skip this part you'll understand why in the future we'll press next and uh, we'll select our team i want the swift team that's what i used okay we'll select lifetime commits and uh, omit private commits because we don't want to show our private commits to everyone we we'll select next you add your social links my linkedin username is Luku. auto complete i also have a medium username which is at Luku Jero. a youtube channel id which is Jero. And I think that's all I have. If you have any of these other social networks, you can add their usernames and select next. Here we add our text stacks for languages. I do that HTML5, Java, some JavaScript, Kotlin, Markdown, Swift, and TypeScript. For hosting and SaaS, I use Nerify. Firebase, Google Cloud, and Heroku. For frameworks, I do the Angular framework, Flutter, iOS, Android. Databases, here you select databases you are comfortable with. I'm comfortable with the MySQL database, MongoDB, Postgres, RAM, and SQLite database for mobile devices. For design, I'm good at using Figma, Canva, and also Adobe XD for mockups. For others, I do Linux operating system, Docker, Great Tool, I use Jira, Project Management Tool, Postman for network requests, and Swagger. After we are done selecting a technology stack, we will select Next. If you want to put any donation links, you can put them here. Your PayPal, Patreon, Coffee username, or Buy Me Coffee username, you can insert them here. For now, I don't have any of those, so I click Next. Additional stops to add. The team I will select is Monokai. Select background. For color, I can select the green. Oh, I'll leave it assigned. Like. I don't want random dev codes. If you want, you can select that. Yes, I want to add top contributor report this. No random memes. And select next. And our profile is done. We can choose to download the markdown file, copy it, or we can create a new from afresh so this is what we presented with now let's copy this code and move now back to our github profile where we were before and select edit with me once we are here what we want to do we don't want to override all of this what we want to do we want to 
create a new line and paste all this information that we have. So let's commit these changes. I'll say uploaded GitHub profile with me. And click commit changes. After our changes are committed, now we can go to our GitHub main profile page to view our results. And voila, you are presented with this. So let's make some slight modifications to the design of the readme file. We'll click the pencil icon on the top right. And when we are here, we'll remove the comments so all of this text will show. And here you can see the preview. You load the preview, you don't have to commit the changes and go to your profile each time if you want to see what you've changed. So, first things first, I want to align this horizontally and not vertically. So, on the edit file, we we'll have GitHub stats. They are aligned horizontally because they each have a break. So, I'll delete this break. And I don't want this break and let's see how it looks like. Okay, it's aligned horizontal. Okay, cool. We'll have this, we'll have this on the bottom. We we'll have our top contributor repositories, statistics, text stack, and socials. And for this information, let's add some information here. So we'll go to edit file. We don't need this, so we'll delete it. I'm currently working on Android and iOS mobile projects. To make this board using Markdown, you need to put two asterisks in the beginning and two asterisks at the end. This will be the text board. I'm currently learning Spring Boot V3 coming from version 2. I'm looking to collaborate on mobile and backend dev projects. Now, all of this to be pulled. So we have a distinction and it will be easier to read. Looking for help for now. Not looking for help. You can ask me about technology and personal development. How to reach me? I will drop my email address for anyone trying to reach me. That's my personal email address. Pronouns is necessary. Yes, I'm a he. Or he. Fun fact so was a fun fact about myself. A single asterisk will make the text italic. So, we want to make this text italic. So, fun fact I run a YouTube. Channel. Great. So let's preview this. Okay, here, there. Here are some ideas. So we get started. Mm -hmm. Citadic. I have a YouTube channel. My socials, my technology stacks, my GitHub stacks, and my top contributor repo. Okay. Remove that, and I think we are done. So, commit our changes and let's go to our GitHub profile main page. And voila, let's not also forget to add an about me section after the introduction, please. So, 
we'll go to edit and after this we'll add a, a new title about me and the information will be adding in our about me section i will get the information from my linkedin profile you're not obliged to do this but that's what i'm going to do so open a new tab and i'll be going to my linkedin profile in my LinkedIn profile, I'll be moving to the About section where I'll be getting my information for my README file. And I'll copy the first paragraph, then head back to my GitHub README file and paste it under this. So, let's first preview it. Okay, I think this is fine. I'll commit the changes. And let's check it out. So, yeah of about me and the changes we just added oh i want to put the profile visit counts at the top so when someone enters my profile he knows how many people have visited my github profile so we'll come down here we will copy this on top we'll put it here comment changes Let's go back to our profile and I have 12 visits but accurately it was 8 visits. So we have come to the end of this video. If you followed along, thank you for following to the end of this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Any video suggestions are also welcome and I will make my maximum to bring them to reality. And on this, catch in another video. Bye.